all Russian soldiers in Ukraine eligible to vote for Putin, dead or alive. A new legislation has simplified the document requirements and allowed Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine to cast their vote in the Russian presidential election without even showing their faces, meaning those deceased might still be eligible for voting. The Kyiv Post media outlet reported this. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine said the latest instructions from the main military political directorate of the Russian armed forces meant that Russian military personnel deployed to Ukraine no longer require a passport or military ID to vote and even a photocopy will suffice. They are also not required to be physically present at the polling stations. The order is likely issued internally within the Russian military. The Kyiv Post says other Russians can also vote online using Russia's electronic voting system, though some form of electronic identity verification is still required. However, this system is reportedly not being used by the Russian military. Russians also began to complain about technical issues with the electronic voting system today. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine believed the new changes in the Russian military would make it easier for Russian authorities to falsify the results and increase votes for Putin by adding the votes of those who recently died, went missing or were captured. It is obvious that in this way the Russian election commissions will try to increase the number of Putin's voters by attracting the so-called dead souls to the voting. In particular to the number of people who voted along with existing military personnel, they plan to add also those who recently died, went missing or were captured. Red the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine press release. The Defense Intelligence also said the official Russian casualty rate could mean a lot more votes for Putin and questioned the legitimacy of the elections. The Kremlin is carrying out a whole set of measures for the fictitious holding of the so-called elections of the President of the Russian Federation. Although it is obvious to everyone that neither the very fact of these elections nor their results are a means of legitimizing Putin's rule either in Russia or abroad, the announcement read. Russia's Belgorod region was again hit by missile fire from the territory of Ukraine on the second half of March 16, local telegram channels reported. Although the air defense system was activated, missiles fell and exploded in the territory of several provinces. No casualties have been reported. It should be noted that the Freedom of Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion, which are fighting against the Russian army as part of the Ukrainian army, have warned that they would fire rockets at the territory of Belgorod region in the evening. Russian partisans fighting against Russia demanded the regional administration to evacuate civilians, stating that the strikes would hit the military facilities and the positions of the Russian troops. Вот тут, получается, мы работаем, вот, а вот здесь залезли.